In the following text, a hypothetical situation will be described with the intention of portraying an imaginary session happening in the fifth grade English class at the very last week of the course. The purpose will be no other than delivering a funny class based over several riddles, games of words, and other kind of games in order to work around multiple linguistic skills such as listening and speaking. Since the curricular planning goals for the course have been already fulfilled, no assessment measures will be taken into account further than the natural interactions created during the dialogues of the session. As a side note, whereas the textbook will not be used, prior to the beginning of the activity, the children will be asked to take a quick look at the index so as to obtain a swift overview of all the contents previously seen. Without any further ado, the interaction will be scripted in the next section. Good morning! Hello there, boys and girls! How is it going today? Please, be quiet. Let's sit down so we can start. Mm -mm. Okay, superb. Let's get cracking. Wait, who's missing today? Juan and Mario are missing. Hmm, so Juan and Mario are not here? Has anybody any idea of where Juan is? Yes, he is the doctor. Is he the doctor? Oh, wait, wait. Do you mean that he is at the doctor, maybe? Yes, Mr. Javier. Hey, that was quite a good answer. You've only missed the little at. By the way, you can cut down the mister. Anyway, I guess Mario probably missed the bus again. We will do something different today. I want you to open your books at page number two. This is the index. Yeah, that's quite right. I want you all to take a rapid look at the index so that you can get a very quick review of what we have seen through all the course, okay? Come on, that was such a good intonation, really on point. However, let's save our musical skills until later on. I'm pretty sure Miss Maria, the music teacher, would appreciate it more than I could. So now we will play a game. You can close your books and put them away in your bags. Is everybody ready to start? Yay! Do you know what a conundrum is? Okay, um, can you remember what a synonym is? It is a word with the same meaning that other words. Great, a synonym is a word which has the same meaning as another word. So with that being said, a conundrum is a synonym for a riddle. You know what a riddle is, right? So the rules go like this. I will either a riddle or a pan or some puzzle with words. Then taking turns you will have to give an answer. Maybe we do a bit of blackboard work and write in there with the color chalk the spelling for some of the words. Seems right? Are there any questions? Eater, eater, what was that? Oh, what a great question. Other. U double T E R. That is another synonym in this case for the word say. I'm a great pizza utter. <laughs> <laughs> that was close, but I think you may mean you are a great pizza eater, spelled E A T E R. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, it is. My bad. Let's roll the ball then. Do you know what a bee is? Yay! 
And do you know what a V says to another V? Do you want to V, my friend? <laughs> Next one. Do you remember the adjective we use to describe our voice when we have a sore throat? Horse. Correct. So you might know why the little horse could not speak at all. Was he a little horse? Bravo! This one is hard. Put your little brains to work. Word begins with T, finishes with T, and has T in it. Time's over. It's a teapot. <coughs> one more. What five-letter word becomes shorter if you add an E and an R to it? Shorter? Wow, that was magnificent, fantastic. Thanks, sir. My pleasure. <laughs> the whole session of the class would continue following the given pattern, trying to go through multiple of the book topics and contents. Once the hour is over, we would farewell our students and encourage them to continue reading and playing with the words as we have done in class. We firmly consider that a fun, creative and non-intimidating learning process may then that becoming a more durable and fruitful experience. In a given example of interaction, not only does the teacher attempt to create a funny environment, but also interacts fluently with the pupils with multiple recasts of their utterances, rephrasing the mistaken sentences and or words which may have been used with a brown grammar or spelling, allow the teacher to show a more technical or proper way to approach speaking skills, without the need of directing a more individual correction which could be received as an embarrassing interaction. On the other hand, there is an intentional action to use more technical words which may be useful in other subjects, such as synonym, creating a cross-curricular environment that offers a widened concept of learning. Last but not least, another of the goals for this session is to do an overall review of multiple topics of the book so that we can create through a quite relaxed environment and playful activities an enriching learning experience that allow us to bring up top vocabulary or expressions seen back in the past during the current scholar course.